Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm very glad the Ambassador is here so he can hear me repeat what I've said to him privately on a number of occasions, and that is that this House and this country stand united in our support for the Ukrainian people in the face of Russian aggression. And we're all appalled by the shocking footage that's emerged over the last few days. We must stand up to Putin and those who prop up his regime. Mr Speaker, Roman Abramovich is the owner of Chelsea Football Club and various other high-value assets in the United Kingdom. He's a person of interest to the Home Office because of his links to the Russian state and his public association with corrupt activity and practices. Last week, the Prime Minister said that Abramovich is facing sanctions. He later corrected the record to say that he isn't. Well, why on earth isn't he? Uh, Mr Speaker, it's not appropriate for me to comment on individual uh, cases at this stage. Uh, but, uh, and it is, but what I can say, uh, and, and, and I, I, I stand, Mr Speaker, by what I've uh, said in the House and, uh, and what we've put on the record, uh, but uh, be in no doubt that the actions that we've already taken, that this House has already taken, are having an effect in, uh, in Moscow. And by exposing the ownership of properties of of companies in the way that we are, uh, by sanctioning uh, 275 uh, individuals already, a further 100 uh, last week, uh, the the impact is being felt. And what we will uh, publish in addition, uh, Mr Speaker, is a full list of all those associated uh, with the Putin uh, regime. Uh, Of course, we have already announced sanctions on Putin and Lavrov uh, themselves. Uh, I can tell the House that the Uh, They will have heard what uh, the President of the United States had to say last night. Uh, The vice is tightening on the Putin regime and it will continue to tighten.